Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the shop. Uh, today I'm going to do a real quick video for you on this thing I'm leaning on. Uh, this is called a bench pull. Uh, I know I mentioned this about six months ago when I actually built this thing uh, and then kind of never followed through. I forgot about it and uh, darned if I wasn't cleaning up my computer last night because I filled up the hard drive again. It's amazing how much these videos fill up a computer. Uh, and I went to clean some things out and I found the build videos for this thing and I said, wow, I never finished that. So uh, I'm going to do a quick video here to uh, get this thing uh, out to you so you know what it is. Um, let's talk about what it is first. The bench bowl is a clamping device. As you can see, I have it clamped to my bench right now. What it does is it allows you to get your working... Uh, your work piece at a better height. Um, some guys like to do all kinds of things on these things. I use this primarily for one thing and one thing only. That's when I'm making drawers or boxes and I need to dovetail ends. And the way you do that is you take one of these quick grips, quick grip clamps, stick it through like this. And all of a sudden what you have is a uh, is a board at a nice height. That's a little high for me. I should lower this a little bit. Right about there. And now I'm at a nice height to saw. <clears throat> this thing can do many things. Um, I don't consider this a replacement for a Moxon vise, but it does what a Moxon vise needs to do. So uh, <clears throat> I prefer to use this over the Moxon because I don't have room to store a Moxon vise in this little room. This little thing stores away in no space at all. <clears throat> and it has a few other tricks up its sleeve. So let me show you the build video quick. It's going to be three or four minutes. I'm going to fast forward through it because literally, guys, we're talking about taking some 2 by 4s and gluing them up into this little shape here. Dimensions don't matter. You can make this as wide as you want. Make it the height you need it to be for your your sawing. So if you're down here, make it here. If you're up here, if you're six foot three, make it up here. You know, make it to, you know, I don't know how big your bench is and I don't know how tall you are. So I can't tell you how big to make it. You got to kind of design it to where you're at the right height for your sawing. You know, and obviously if I were to saw here, I got to bend over. You see this? This is hard on my back. You know, as you get to be my age, bending like that for long times is painful. That's what this thing helps us with. So let me show you the build video. We'll come back and I'll show you how to use it. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. So we talked about the bench bowl. I explained what it is. Uh, this is going to be a really, really quick two or three minutes on how you put it together. Because realistically, this is it right here. It is two longer pieces and two shorter pieces. You literally line up the two shorter pieces to give yourself a gap. And then have the two longer pieces, like so, flush, glue this together. The only dimensions that matter for this thing, and I know you don't know what to do with it yet, so it'll, it's a little confusing, but the, the, the height, this height is the only dimension that matters. This width means nothing. You can make this thing this wide, you can make it this wide. It's really what you're going to do with it. And the only dimension that really matters for this is this top height and this top height is for sawing and this is pretty darn good for me so if, if you want to be up here you got to make yours higher if you want to be here you make yours shorter you just glue up wood until you have it at the height you want um, and why you want to saw with this thing like that I'll show you in a few minutes but to, glue, to, to build this, you literally just glue it up like this, so let's do that.
there we have it we just built a bench pull I'm gonna let this dry we'll come back when it's dry I'll sand it up make it smooth and I'll show you how to use this thing and this will make a lot more sense all right guys so that was a quick video I did about six months ago on building this thing uh, I've made a few changes to it as we come up and use them I'll show you but this is the part where I'm gonna show you how you use it the number one with a bullet used for me for the bench pull is this configuration right here what I've done is I've taken a quick clamp I go through the hole here this is like the clamping hole I take my board and I get it configured I squeeze the clamp I get myself set for sawing and you know this is where you would saw dovetails now you notice I'm a little uncomfortable here normally when I do this I move the bench away from the wall some um, as you can see I am I am just about just about hitting my elbow on the back wall here um, but obviously this works fine it's very secure the board is nicely held it's up at a nice height for me to saw at instead of being down here where I'm bending over I'm up here standing upright making my cuts it's nice and solid by far in my mind the best use for the bench bowl okay guys a lesser used uh, a lesser used uh, thing for the bench bowl but effective for some people because it saves your back as you can see I have three screws here and these screws are buried in this side top but they make an effective plane stop so if I were to want to plane a bunch of small parts let's say I was making a bunch of small boxes I don't want to be down here planning on my bench I'd rather be up here planning so I can uh, you know take these small parts put them up here and run my plane nicely against those screws and plane my surfaces flat um, you know it's only really good for the size of the bull you can make your, a bench bull this long if you wanted a longer one to do that you know but for very small boxes if you were building a bunch of them it might be behoove you to have it up in the air higher so that your uh, back is not hurt doing a bunch of them down on your bench I don't personally do this but it is a use case and when you're done just uh, bury the screws back and leave them there. You know, just countersink them in there and they're there ready for you anytime you need to use them. Okay, I'm going to reconfigure this and we'll do a few things on the side. Alright guys, another method of working uh, on a bench bowl. As you can see, I've modified this since the build video. I've put some dog holes in here and I also put a cleat on the bottom of this thing. You can see right here, a piece of hardwood. So when I can put it on the bench, put it up, there's a cleat there. Um, what this can allow me to do is, let's say I cut those dovetails, and now I want to uh, chop them out. We can grab our chisel, and I am standing at a nice height. My back is straight, and I am able to chop those, those out back standing straight. This is the right height for me for chopping these dovetails out. Now I am just aiming aimlessly here and cutting here. I'm not really cutting dovetails out, but you can see that this is the uh, this is the method for that. Again, everything I'm saying here is my back, my back, my back. This is a clamping device to get your work surface up to a height of your back. Um, in the dovetail mode, a mock sun vise is what would be used you know when we were like that cutting the dovetails here I've seen guys on uh, YouTube create little bench top benches uh, and honestly they're cool as hell and I'd love to make one but I don't have room to store it um, so something like this you know if I was cutting these here just on my bench you know again I'm in the my back is bent um, all this is is a tool to help you uh, keep your back straight and work at a comfortable uh, height for your back. Um, now you don't need these Craig uh, uh, hold, holding devices. You could uh, you could very easily come up with other kinds of uh, Wonder Pups, Wonder Dogs, things like that to put in here. You could take some boards cut them on an angle and do the angled thing to hold your pieces in here where this is truly free again. This is a very inexpensive to free 
jig that you can build to use on your bench. Uh, and that's the key. Don't spend any money on this. This is just scrap 2 by. That's all this was made out of. My preferred method of using this is like this right here, cutting those dovetails. Uh, I think that's just a, a great use of a piece of a 2x4 uh, to help your back. Uh, now you young guys, you're going to say, my back's fine, I can cut my uh, dovetails right at my bench. And you know, you can, and you probably can for another 20 years, but when your gray, gray hair comes like this stuff, your back's going to feel it. And doing it now might mean your back doesn't feel it later. So something to think about, guys. This is something you can put together in about 20 minutes and use for a long time and save your back. And that's all this thing is about. You know, so this is just a quick video to show you how to use this thing. There are a few other videos on the bench bowls. So I would recommend going to YouTube and uh, search in the YouTube search engine bench bowl. There are other guys that have made attachments to these things, made other designs. You know, this is my use case for it, really, is just the uh, using it like a Moxon vise to cut the uh, dovetails. Uh, there are several other videos where guys make many attachments for these and have all kinds of other use cases. Now, I'm not going to steal their use cases. Go watch their videos and, uh, you know, and learn as much as you can from them. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This is just a quickie. Um, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Always please subscribe if you haven't, and have a great day. We'll see you.